Today's recipe is a lightened up meatball. It's made with ground turkey meat and some chopped up mushrooms to add depth and flavor. You're never gonna miss the beef. I'm telling you that right now. Start off by mincing half an onion. If you have a super duper small onion, just go ahead and use that. And then you're gonna chop up some mushrooms too. You're gonna need a cup of chopped mushrooms and the depth and flavor that you get from those chopped mushrooms are gonna really give you a great eating experience that you might otherwise miss in a regular old turkey meatball. I'd say that's about a half a cup of minced onion. I like it as small as I possibly can get it, especially when it's going into meatballs because I don't really like big chunks of onion in my meatballs. I don't know about you. And my kids really don't either, so. Try to get it small. Chop up one cup of mushrooms. I have probably more than I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna start with about eight mushrooms. I guess if you have a little bit too many, it's okay, but you don't wanna have too, too many because mushrooms do add moisture and you don't want your meatballs to be watery. But this looks like it's gonna be about a cup. If you want to do this in the food processor, just go ahead, that'll be fine. And in fact, I think you could grind up your onion in there too if you wanted to. Now you're gonna saute your mushrooms and onions together. Heat a large skillet over, you know, medium high heat. Add a couple tablespoons of olive oil and then saute your onion and mushrooms together. And then what you wanna do is just cook out all of the moisture. I had it on a medium high, now I'm gonna turn it up to high once I've added the mushrooms in because they can release a lot of liquid. What you wanna do is cook out all of the moisture and intensify the flavor of the mushrooms and the onions. Everything is nice and soft, the onions are translucent. Transfer them to kind of a largish bowl because you're gonna mix your meatball mixture right in the bowl. To the mushrooms, add a half a cup of dry breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of grated Pecorino Romano cheese. If you have grated Parmesan cheese and you wanna use that, go right ahead, that's fine. One large egg white, three tablespoons of chopped basil, a third of a cup of fat-free milk. Pour that onto the breadcrumbs, or you can combine those two things before you add the rest of the ingredients. You wanna make sure that the breadcrumbs of all things get moistened, that's what the milk is there for. Mush that together and then stir all of those ingredients together. Add three teaspoons of coarse salt, less if you're using fine. Stir that up and then add your ground turkey. I'm using light meat or white meat turkey only, pound and a half. Carefully stir that together. You can use your hands as well if you want to. Turkey meat has a tendency to be a little bit mushier than regular ground beef. Go into this experience knowing that and you'll be okay. The breadcrumbs will help bind it together and make a nice meatball. And like I said earlier, the mushrooms and the onions give great flavor. I'm not usually the kind of person that wants to eat lightened up versions of things. I feel like just eat the regular thing and eat less, but these are so good I'd eat them anyway. Then you can form them into meatballs. You can either use your hands to completely roll them or I'll show you a little trick that I have. I have a little ice cream scoop that I like to use. That way I get uniform meatballs. Just scoop and then drop onto a baking sheet and then you can go back in and roll them into sort of neater meatballs if you want to later. If you like those perfectly round meatballs, go back in and roll them with damp hands. Alrighty. Now you're gonna to wanna to dampen your hands probably to roll these into neater balls. Otherwise, the turkey really will stick. Damp hands helps you avoid all of that. And see, they come out really nice. These meatballs, I'm going to simmer directly in the sauce with no browning. That helps cut back on fat and also on time. Time and fuss, and I'm all about cutting back on time and fuss. If you wanted to, you could shape these meatballs and freeze them in a single layer just like this, and then cook them from frozen directly in the simmering sauce. And it only takes a couple minutes longer than it would if you cook them from unfrozen, amazingly. Wash your hands. All right, let's cook them. The meatballs should go directly into the simmering sauce and they'll cook for about 15 or 20 minutes. They just need to cook through. 
and you can do this directly from frozen if you want to. So as few or as many as you want or you need for that meal. Cook up some pasta or serve them on hero rolls or with your favorite kind of bread. Make sure they're completely covered and distributed through the pot and simmer them for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want to make sure that they're completely cooked through. This is poultry after all. If you time it right, your pasta and your meatballs will be done at exactly the same time. You ready? A little bit of pasta. Why not? Don't overdo it, otherwise all of your efforts at being light will be for naught. A generous amount of delicious, tasty, and you'll never know it's light turkey meatballs. Maybe you want a little tiny bit of cheese. I'm gonna say no to cheese. I already have cheese in my meatballs today, but a little bit of fresh basil wouldn't be out of place, right? A little bit of fresh basil to brighten it up and add waftability. Light and delicious. Great for the new year, great for you. Enjoy. A lot whiter than your regular meatballs, so eat up. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.